Hey there guys! Welcome back to my channel and this is your teacher, Teacher Daryl Del Mundo. And welcome to my Edu Sci Vlog. So today, we will have our new topic which is considered as the fourth quarter or the last leg for grade 7 science which is all about earth science or earth and space science. The question is, what is earth science? So earth science basically the study of our own planet which is considered the blue planet which is all about uh, what's outside the earth what's within the earth and what's inside the earth everything that is all about our planet because we should love this planet and this is the earth and space science so let us first define that this earth science has four sciences rolled into one okay so uh, we have four branches of earth sciences so are you ready to know these four branches of earth and space science okay so let's deal with the first one which is all about geology geology came from the word geo and logos okay geo means all about rocks land or ground logi is to study which means we are going to study that is all about the land that is all about rocks that is all about the ground this is the studies of the earth's interior and surface and the origin of the earth this is all about geology do not forget it and the second one is all about astronomy not astrology guys astrology is the false astronomy because astrology they are trying to find the connection between the planets or celestial bodies to a person's life so these are the horoscopes something like that what's your lucky number lucky color lucky star whatsoever so on and so forth that is astrology that is the false astronomy while astronomy is a scientifically based explanation that deals with the study of the universe stars planets comets moons so on and so forth that is all about the outer space okay and the third one it is all about meteorology don't get me wrong this is not the study about meteors okay this is the study of the earth's atmosphere specifically the condition of the atmosphere so we are talking about weather storms climate so uh, it deals about kind of what's the what is happening what will be the weather what will be the climate okay for what will be the season such as that so uh, what is the difference between climate and weather so when we are talking about weather this is for only a short period of time while climate this is for a long period of time so like seasons the four seasons we have summer spring fall and winter while weather for example today it's a sunny day while maybe later it will become uh, what do you call this like a cloudy day like a rainy day something like that so from a short period of time it changes okay that is meteorology the study of the earth's atmosphere or the condition of the atmosphere while the fourth one is all about the hydrosphere the oceanography okay oceanography is the study of the earth's ocean it talks about like the physical the chemical the biological aspects of the ocean everything that it's all about the blue part of our planet which is 75 percent okay so that is all about oceanography okay next the question that we have right now what is an earth science event let us first answer what is an event an event is an occurrence on earth that causes a change so if you can see a change that is very abnormal to the earth that is an event okay as you can see in the picture that we have here the given picture here it's a flood okay it's a change when there's a very strong typhoon something like that or a thunderstorm especially here in manila because manila is a sea level so every time when it uh, rains so hard flood is always there <laughs> okay it's because of your garbages so please 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 do not forget to throw your garbages in the proper waste can okay proper waste management is a mess not forget that so i will go going to give you the different pictures of the different events for the different branches of earth and space science okay so i want you to name them 
so that you will have uh, a knowledge about this kind of event. Are you ready for the first one? Okay, so uh, let us have this event. Okay, number one for oceanography. Look at the first picture. I know you are familiar with this picture. It happens a lot here in the Philippines because we are surrounded by water because the Philippines is an archipelago. Okay, okay the second picture. Get it. Very good. Next one. Some events for meteorology. Look at the first picture. It's a good one, huh? The second picture now. And now the third picture. I know you are familiar with the first, but the second and the third, maybe in other part of the country. Okay? In other country, by the way. The third one. Some events in astronomy. Look at the first picture. Okay, good. Be observant. The second picture. It's quite good. It's like a cell dividing. <laughs> but it's not a cell. Okay, then the last part. Some events for geology. This is very, very prominent here in the Philippines. Because the Philippines is surrounded by different kinds of volcanoes. Or we are located in the Pacific Ring of Fire. So look at the first picture. Oh no. Look at the second picture. Okay. Job well done. So today, at this point, we are going to talk about the different activities that suits in every branch of Earth and Space Science. Let us start with oceanographer, the activity for oceanographer. Oceanographer are the scientists or the people who studies the ocean, okay? So sometimes in the northern part or the southern part or the north pole or the southern, southern pole of the world, they study the icebergs, okay? They track the ocean currents, studying the ocean floor or the superficial part, can be the superficial or the ocean floor, and the life or the biological aspects or the life that can be found under the ocean. So that's the work for oceanographer, okay? Are you ready to become an oceanographer? Maybe one day. And then the second part, the activity for an astronomer are this one. We have uh, these studies the planets, okay? Because astronomer are the ones or the scientists who studies astronomy, okay? Do not forget that. They also study the comets, trying to discover if there are also living things that can be found in another planet. Or sometimes they do discover other planets that can be living, okay? That can be suitable for living, something like that. And that's a good, good discovery, okay? And then the last part, we have the activity for geologists. Geologists or the scientists who specializes with the study of geology. They basically map earthquakes. Here in the Philippines, we have FIVOX, okay? Uh, a while ago here in the astronomer in, uh, in what we call uh, like uh, in the America, they have the NASA, okay? And uh, here in the Philippines, for geology, geologists, rather, they or we have FIVOX, okay? Then they study how to prevent floods. They make also topographic maps. This is very important. Maps are very important, okay? Especially if you are uh, in the ship, something like that. If you're going to an adventure, something like that. Or to trace something, it's very important. And then... We have the last part, the meteorologist, the activity for it. Meteorologists are the weather guy, the weatherman, the weather reporter. It talks about, like here in the Philippines, we have Kuya Kim and Mang Tani. Okay, so uh, they study and predict the weather. They investigate the climate control and also they study the hurricane control in other countries. But here, we don't have hurricane. Okay, we have thunderstorms, tropical cyclones and so on and so forth, okay? Because those cyclones, those uh, LPA and HPA, okay? And thunderstorms formed in the ocean. So we have a lot of bodies of water, okay? Remember that the Philippines is surrounded by different bodies of water. So that is why in one year, 
we have uh, approximately like 20 okay, storms or thunderstorms storms or tropical cyclones that visits our country. And that's a lot. Okay? But try to visit the Philippines. It's a good one. Okay? So here we have Pag-asa. Pag-asa is the one who's responsible for the weather forecasting, such as the, they give the weatherman or the weather guy some information about what's the condition of the atmosphere. Okay? And for your assignment, so number one, you need to find one newspaper or article or pictures with captions relating to two different earth sciences. You can cut it or print it out, attach to your notebook, okay? Then answer these questions for your article. Are you ready? So these are the questions. So number one, you need to identify the branch of earth science. So it's important for you to become familiar with it, okay? So when you have your print out, your newspaper, or your, even your article, just paste it on your notebook and then identify which branch of earth science. And then we have the second one, which is what activity would a scientist have to do for this article to be written? And number three, what event is covered by this article? So those are the three questions that you need to answer. Maybe later I will put it also on your online quiz in this description below. Do not forget to click the description box below so that you can see your online quiz. Okay? Do not forget it. And click the link, okay? Complete it and then submit it to me. Good. Then, what is the objectives or what are the objectives that we need to target Why you need to do this assignment or this activity? Number one, you should identify the major branches of earth science. Number two, Describe the events that occur in each branch of science or earth and science or earth and space science. And number three, identify an activity of a scientist in each branch of earth science. So those are our targets why you need to finish your assignment. Be sure that you can answer questions about these objectives. I know you can do it. I have very bright class. Okay. And that's the end. So this is again Mr. Daryl Del Mundo. And that is our topic for today. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. See you guys. Kudos.